हेलो कोड्रेस वेलकम बैक अगेन टू मास्टरिंग स्प्रिंग क्लाउड माइक्रो सर्विस प्ले लिस्ट डे टू सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर डीप डाइव इन टू आवर प्रोजेक्ट आर्किटेक्चर सो वी आर बिल्डिंग अ ब्लॉगिंग वेबसाइट सो इन स्प्रिंग क्लाउड प्ले लिस्ट वी बिल्ड अ ब्लॉगिंग वेबसाइट बट दैट इज अ मोनोलैथिक आर्किटेक्चर ओके सो वी कन्वर्ट दैट मोनोलैथिक टू अ माइक्रो सर्विस ओके सो वी वी आर यूजिंग स्प्रिंग क्लाउड कंपोनेंट टू फुलफिल अवर business requirement so with that we are using some other tools also like kubernetes docker and a jenkins and aws stuff also we will discuss that each and everything step by step don't worry about this this is the overall high level design of our project okay i'm not going deep on each and every component don't worry in a future video we covering each and everything in depth so in this video we are only covering a high level part of our project okay so i suggest you to watch this video till end and don't skip anything because uh, it is very important stuff and whatever 7 plus years experience i have i try to put that in this whole a uh, playlist before starting a main part of our video uh, we observe one thing only 70% of our viewers subscribe to our channel okay so i highly suggest to subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon because in a spring cloud microservice playlist we are covering each and every component of that and uh, almost like 20 to 25 video over there so let's discuss one one component step by step okay just imagine we have a uh, android app ios app and a website so that particular three things consume our api so first we design api gateway so what is use of api gateway so api gateway used for a various purpose like authentication like security purpose then filtering if you want to do some process in your request you can do that after that we are implementing service registry and discovery so what is service registry of and discovery service registry and discovery is a brain of our all spring cloud microservice so whatever microservice we are building for example we are building blog microservice we are building component microservice okay we register them to a service registry and discovery so if if i want to communicate with each and every microservice so how you communicate so unique id is created for each microservice and that id register to service registered discovery so as per our business requirement we have total three modules one is blog microservice second is comment microservice and third is authentication authorization microservice so we implement authentication authorization in a api gateway and this is two microservices so uh, as the request increases we need to horizontally scale our microservice means we need to create multiple instance of that and distribute the load to each and every microservice for that we are using load balancer okay so for two separate microservice we uh, give a separate load balancer after that in our business requirement consistency is not important at that level we need a availability okay for that reason we are using no sql database which is mongo db okay so we create a separate blog database and a comment database so we can uh, do a horizontal scaling also we can deploy multiple uh, database replicas in multiple regions so basically at the end we are using a uh, horizontal scaling after that we have multiple microservices and with that multiple microservice we have multiple pods okay how you check the health of each and every pods all pods working fine or not okay is there any issue occur in api call so how we check that so we are checking by using monitoring and alerting so we are using grafana actuator and prometheus to health check and monitoring after that in microservice architecture one microservice communicate with another microservice then that microservice communicate to other microservices so sub sequence call over there if the specific api call fail in production how you track that you need some tracking id exactly which microservice that api fail with what reason so to get information of that distributed tracing is very helpful so distributed tracing uh, create one unique id which is trace id and spam id and you can pass that trace id to each and every microservices and you can track the whole things okay after that one microservice contain a uh, application dot properties and if you have a uh, multiple environment like a uh, day vat production it is haptic to maintain properties file in that particular spring boot project so what we are doing exactly we are storing the all a uh, properties file in our github repository and we are implementing 
Spring Cloud Configuration Services. So what Spring Cloud Configuration Services is doing? So we are storing all our properties file to a GitHub repository and our microservice consume the properties details from a Spring Cloud config. So for example, if you change anything in that particular properties file, automatically your microservice uh, receive that request is uh, something is changed. So microservice restart themselves. It is very great advantage of Spring Cloud config. After that, we need to implement some event driven process also. For example, if I creating any blog, okay, and you are adding any comment in, in that particular blog. So I get a notification from a mail or from SMS, any type of notification service. So for that, we are using Kafka over there, messaging service, and we send a message to a email worker. That email worker may be written on Python. Okay. So it receives the message and send the particular email and we need to implement a push notification also for the push notification. Also, we need to use a Kafka and send the all message to a Kafka. So Kafka is very a great tool to handle huge number of pipeline requests. After that, we need to deploy the project to somewhere. So we are using Docker and Kubernetes uh, to containerization and orchestration and we need to implement CI CD also. So. We just push the project on a GitHub repository and automatically that particular jar deploy in particular path for that we are using Jenkins. So that are the overall architecture of our project. So one thing I'm missing for communicating between two microservice, we need to use a pain client. Okay. So this is the overall architecture of our project. Maybe this architecture change as we going to record a video and as we implement one, one thing in, in our project. But this is overall idea what we are building in this 20 to 25 video playlist. Yeah, that's it from today's video. If you have any question, please write down in comment. We will try to address that. And if you like our video, give us thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon. So whenever you upload new video, you get a notification of that. With that, we create one telegram group. In that telegram group, we are sharing into tips and tricks, video updates and all important content. So join that group link in description, QR code come over here. I will also provide the repository link in the description so you can check out this high level design of our project. Let's meet on our next video. Keep upscaling, keep learning. Thanks for watching.